Right guys, welcome to another episode of Baller Boxings, and today we have two packages, and this is actually going to be a video spread out over a couple of days. Uh, so you're going to watch what you're going to want to watch until the end uh, to see all the packages I got over the next few days, because uh, two are here right now. What came today? Uh, I should have one coming tomorrow, and then maybe another one at the weekend. So that'll be in one video. This will probably be out Sunday or Saturday. I don't know when, but I've got two packages now. One is from eBay, which I bought, which is a new figure I've been after for for a while, which I've really wanted. And then we've got a trade from our unofficial. EFW, I think, on Instagram, where I traded him a uh, elite Dolph. You can probably see the Dolph there, that Dolph right there. I just need to take that out and then uh, ship it to him tomorrow, as he said. This hopefully this figure's all right. But uh, let's start with that. Just this, just one loose figure, uh, which I've been after for a while. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to cut this. I don't want to rip it because I might be able to reuse it, but it might only be. I think it's only one use anyway. So just stab. 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 Ah, there it is. Oh, it looks like he threw in the NXT title as well. Uh, so this is the, obviously, the then now forever. Jason Jordan. And um, I got this because I needed it to complete my other set of American Alpha. And, uh, yes, yeah, so everything seems to be good with this figure. And, uh... Thought I'd just trade him a figure I don't need that he wants for this figure. And this is really cool. So now I have both sets of American Alpha. Um, there's my Chad Gable, as you can see. And then I've got the Better Elite 59. You can probably see the other Jordan over there. Because I'm in the middle of filming the Cruiserweight match for SummerSlam. There's the other one. These ones are better, but I just really want to complete these. So as you can see, the matching the tyres. It's really nice. So yeah, really glad to have these. Thank you, dude. I will ship out your... Well, you probably have it. You probably have the Zilla by the time this video goes out. But, um, yeah, so NXT tag team title as well. So let's just, I'll put this to the side. So thank you, dude, for that. And then next we have a bit of a bigger box. Um, this is from eBay as well. It's, uh, it's cost me quite a bit of money, but uh, it's what you pay for these types of figures. Pro unboxer right here. Um, oh, finally, finally got that bit open. Just cut down there. Oh, nice. Now let's just slide this out. That's what she said. I mean, oh god, I broke the box. It's okay. Who needs boxes? You meant to open them. Don't keep things mock, guys. Don't. It's not worth it. Let me open this. Ah, there we go. That was a lot easier. We have the entrance grates. Finn Balor, which I've been after for so long. Managed to order this off eBay uh, for twenty nine ninety nine. So pretty good price, cheap in Smiths. Yeah, it plays the music, obviously. No, yeah, that's really awesome. Actually, I think this might be my favourite demon attire, mainly because it uses the rip torso, and I love the red and black over the blue and black from uh, the other one. And, uh, so, and it's got the cloth here. It's got the awesome. Um, you'll probably make this into a human fin ballot easily, um, due to the lack of pain. You can probably just acetone it off. But you know me and customising, we don't work well. I can't even do that. But uh, yeah, there's the back of the box. So I'll move this a bit forward. Move it there. Oh, let's put Jordan in the back. Why not? Stand there. Can okay, angle some. Right, um. So let's just open this right here. Eh. So, guys, sorry for that quick cut, but here's the figure out of the packaging, and oh my god, this is definitely. My favourite Demon Balor so far. It's the detail and the tattoos. It's so simple but it's so effective. You've got the cloth robe that goes around his waist. You've got the simple black sleeves. Oh, for God's sake. Right. <laughs> it's become like a tradition to knock my tripod now. But anyway, it comes with the headgear. Um, I've never actually owned the tassels because I've never got the Elite 41. Um, and the, the back work is just awesome. Look at that. It's like a demon. And we got that there. Sorry if you can see he and my hoover in the background. But uh, let's take this off. This should be easy to take off. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
Look guys, I'll show you what I keep knocking. I keep hitting that with my hand and then it just goes like that. Oh my god. Yeah, but here it is without the music stand or any of the accessories and this just looks really nice. This is from TLC, I believe. And this just looks really nice. Simple black chunks, but it just looks so clean. And uh, nothing loose, which is a bonus. So here's the network spotlight. The network spotlight probably wins it in detail. But for my personal favourite, I've probably got to go with this one. And let's just see how sick it looks with this attire. Uh, with the belt on. So yeah, how awesome is that? BFW Universal Champion. We'll definitely be using this for BFW SummerSlam. Which again will be out probably in autumn, October time. But um, yeah, this is really cool. So yeah guys, uh, I don't know what the next part will be. It will probably be um, me opening another figure in a few days. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you then. Right guys, so I noticed the package will come at the weekend, it's actually the next Monday, so that was Wednesday I last recorded, and um, now it's Monday the 17th of September, and a hell in the cells just happened and how much of the three peaks, I've just got back in sixth form, uh, currently on the second one, uh, the tag team match, the Shield vs. Dolph, Dolph and Tyre, I don't know, um, but yeah, I've enjoyed the card so far, I thought the first hell in the cell, uh, the New Day, Rusev said Day was a pretty good match, uh, the Randy and Jeff Hyde one was okay, um, and the Women's Championship match I really enjoyed. Uh, sort of wish Charlotte turned heel, but oh well. Um, but I've got the next package here finally, and uh, I can't remember what I got in the last episode. What was it again? Oh, it was the Finn Balor and the um. Uh, don't remember what was it. Um, oh, the Jason Jordan. So um, let's open this. Wait a minute. This was a bargain. This was like uh. I got this for like one pound fifty on eBay, and then shipping was like three pounds, so the shipping cost more. Here we go. Yeah, here it is. The Elite Thirty Seven, I think. Daniel Bryan, and I've been wanting this for a while, just for another Daniel Bryan Elite. And I have the shirt as you guys saw. I got from Figs, so now I have two pretty updated Daniel Bryans. I do think this attire is better with the silver, but um. Yeah, this is really cool. Can't complain for one pound fifty. It's like a bargain. Uh, it's a bit used, as you can see on the knee pad right there. It's got a mark on the body. I'll probably just get rid of that easily. Uh, but this is really nice. So that will go with my other Daniel Bryan Elite right there. And now I'll put another shirt on it. So yeah, so everything we got. Uh, I'll show you now. Uh, let me just find this Jason Jordan. Okay, so I can't find my Jason Jordan, it's definitely in my bin somewhere, I just don't want to rummage all the way through it. But there's the Balor we got, um, insane. Go check out my fix-up video from yesterday, I had a Finn Balor fix-up in that. And uh, there's the Brian. So thanks for watching guys, let me know your opinions on Hell in a Cell and the stuff we got. And I'll see you all in the next video.